Hey everybody, welcome back to Salty and Sweet. My name is Hermes. My name is Sarah. And today we're gonna eat a crap ton of Pop-Tarts. Before we dive in, please remember to like, subscribe, and ring that bell for notifications. And share with your family and friends. And your uncle. And with all that said, let's dig in. Okay, we're gonna start with Fruit Loops. This seems like the most unappealing one to me. I feel like it's not gonna be good, but yeah. also felt like we had to try it. I mean, I, if you've seen the Sarah episode, we ate some Pop-Tarts or a Pop-Tart. And I'm not really that big into Pop-Tarts, but we'll see. Um, the thing is, I also am not big on Fruit Loops, so this will be an interesting first one. Also, we're gonna eat all, if not most of these, just uncooked, unbaked. Unbaked, not yeah. toasted. Not toasted. <laughs> Which, in my opinion, is the only way to eat a Pop-Tart. Yeah. So we're doing it like the heathens that we are. Oh, it tastes like Fruit Loops. Initial bite, Fruit Loops. Mm -hmm. It's not my like go-to cereal, but it's not bad. It tastes exactly like Fruit Loops. I mean, uh, all Fruit Loops taste the same, right? Like each one doesn't taste different. She says they all taste the same. Oh, it had some writing on it. Oh no. Oh, we, uh -huh. oh, we ruined it. So it said. It's I'm with Sam, and then you have oh. two cans Sam right here. It's pretty cute. Look at that. Look at that. Wow. <laughs> I'm gonna have one more, but I think, I mean, given what I said, that I'm not really a fan of either. I'm still going decent. Oh wow, you're gonna go decent? I think this is gonna be my least favorite of all the ones, and I, I'm judging comparatively. I actually don't mind it. Okay. I also think you need to pace yourself. We got a lot of Pop-Tarts. I know, but. I would say this is decent, delicious. We have frosted hot fudge sundae, which is Steve's favorite, as he mentioned in the Sarah episode. I am actually kind of excited about this. Wait, so is the the cookie outer part is chocolate? Yeah. It's gonna be chocolate. Yep. Never had one of those. Cookie outie. Okay, oh, let's yeah, take one show out. What it looks like first. What does it look like? Any hidden messages? No. It smells good. It smells like fudge. Whoa, oh, it's white that? icing inside. There's going to be fudge inside. Yeah, me too. I mean, it's like, it's a chocolate. What is this? Is this a cookie? Is that what it is? Oh, it's a breakfast pastry. Well, okay. Is it a chocolate breakfast pastry? Whatever this thing is? Mm-hmm. Okay. It's pretty good. Good chocolate biscuit. This is like a milk inside. Oh, it's supposed to be ice cream. It's a fudge sundae. Yeah, no, I like this. Yeah. It's great. It's pretty good. I say this is... Delicious. <laughs> I bet it would be good in a sundae if we just chop it up and put it in ice cream. Mm-hmm. Mm, it's awesome. I'm gonna go delicious. Yeah, I like this. Way to go, Steve. Mm, good recommendation. Thanks. <laughs> um, I'm gonna have one more. <laughs> Hermes, look, no. What? It's no. just one more. No. Here we have frosted confetti cupcake. Man, it's, it's a mouthful for me for some reason. Mm -hmm. So they say on the box that you can bake them, microwave them, or freeze them, or eat them out of the wrapper. You keep saying bake, it's toasted. You toast them. It says them. fully baked. Oh, I guess they are fully baked. Okay, so this is the confetti cupcake. I'm not a really huge fan of confetti cupcakes. I do like confetti. <laughs> it, looks, it looks really fun. It looks like a birthday party. It Look looks at funfetti. Look at this birthday party right here. It's a pride one. Sure. It's not really rainbow. It's more like a clown party. There's What's the filling inside it? I assume. It tastes like a kid's cupcake. It's a little doughy on the outside, though. I feel like the icing is good. For some reason, the pastry doesn't taste the same. It feels really doughy. It's a little too sweet. It's still good. It is very doughy. But I'm doing decent delicious here. Really? Mm-hmm. I might go decent on this one. Okay. I'll have one more, but. This is the one I'm most excited for, I think. Pretzel <laughs> cinnamon sugar. You think? I think so. It's sweet and salty. Pizzas in a pop tart form. Pizzas in a pop tart form. Whoa, okay. It kind of looks like a pretzel. It's, <laughs> it, yeah, well, it is. Is that the salt? Is that what's on it? I don't know. It's Whoa, it's got like all sugar. this. What is that? Nice and soft. There's the cinnamon inside. 
Actually, really good. So this is delicious. It's really good. I mean, it's so good. Actually, I'm probably going to go dangerous. I do really? think maybe I like the regular brown sugar more, but this is a nice change. This is really good. I think, I mean, I would still go delicious. To be honest, I might actually change my mind and go dangerous for the chocolate fudge one. But this is deli this is delicious. It tastes like the classic brown sugar one. Not so much cinnamon. Definitely just tastes like brown sugar. The pretzel isn't like it's not as like overwhelming. Yeah. A very little bit of salt on it. Mm -hmm. Frosted chocolatey churro. I'm also really excited about this yeah, one. Yeah, I'm excited about that. I, I love everything chocolate, so. I love chocolate. I love churros. Churros are great. But like, is it gonna be a different kind of pastry? Oh, it's not as chocolatey as the chocolate fudge one. No. Oh, weird. It looks so naked. Oh, there's chocolate inside. Nice, look at that, chocolate inside. How's this taste? It has more cinnamon than the cinnamon sugar one. Um, it doesn't taste like a churro. It doesn't taste like a churro. <laughs> That's kind of disappointing. Mm. I was kind of like hoping for it. It's a little too much cinnamon for me. It almost tastes like it had a little bit of coconut. Really? I don't taste that at all. I don't know. It's definitely more cinnamon, not so much chocolate. I think you're getting the whole coconut thing because it kind of tastes like a shampoo. <laughs> mm. I mean, I don't know about this one. I was excited about this. I was really excited. I'm still going, still going delicious. Wow. I would eat it, but I wouldn't buy these over other Pop-Tarts again. This would be a don't for me. Wow, really? Yeah. You don't like cinnamon. I don't mind cinnamon, but this is like, what is the flavor here? It's like they can't make up their mind. It, to they, me, this is a lie. It's not a churro. These guys are liars. I feel like it's cinnamon with a slight bit of coconut. Okay. It's not what it's advertised, but that is what my palate is saying that it is. Here you go. We're finishing it off with <laughs> unfrosted strawberry. Oh boy. Which was my other favorite growing up. You know, it was the brown sugar which we already covered. That one I liked. Didn't have to be toasted, straight out of the box, delicious. This one was my other favorite. I didn't like the frosted one, but we decided that this one had to be toasted because that's how I liked it growing up. So, Hermes has never had it. Steve said that this is basically paste, not jelly or jam. Paste. I don't know, I really liked it. Also, I have not had this in years. I don't know if it holds up. So it's just, this is just the casing. Yeah, but make sure that's not too loud <laughs> that you're gonna burn your mouth. I mean, it's just, yeah. It's just like you spreading like strawberry jam on a cookie. <laughs> that's pretty much it. So nothing really to like write home about in this one. Definitely delicious, but I feel like the other two flavors that we've had would kick this one's ass. <laughs> the other two what? Flavors. Oh, I know. I'm still going decent delicious. I love the simplicity of it. I think it's you great. You decent delicious? I'm going delicious dangerous. Wow, I was gonna say, it's like this was your I childhood snack. Delicious dangerous. I like the simplicity of it. I think it's a really good strawberry flavor. I like the biscuit. It's really good baked. Yes, I know toasted, but we don't have a toaster, so we put it in the oven. Um, this was really fun. I enjoyed all of them, but some more than others. I mean, I think we got a good half here to take away, you know, that was really great. Mm -hmm. So I definitely enjoyed myself. This was an experience for me personally, because I never really ate Pop-Tarts growing up. And I only had the two basic flavors. I'd never had any of these other special ones. Yeah, but these were definitely exciting and a lot of the things were really good that was recommended. So, way to go, Steve. <laughs> I'll forgive you a little bit. <laughs> now we're gonna need to try to toast them and then put ice cream on them. Yeah. We're doing Pop-Tart a la mode. Yes, and with all that said. Take it away, friend. <laughs> You've been watching Salty and Sweet! <laughs> but it's missing one ingredient. You! Be sure to like and subscribe and make my channel grow!